Today, we're going to be hacking one of my previous videos using the trash can lid and a mylar blanket to make an adjustable parabolic mirror that can be used as a very powerful death ray. <laughs> You want to start by sealing the inner handle connections with a flexible sealant. I use clear silicone. Drill a small hole in the back of the lid, then using a box cutter, cut your mylar blanket one inch larger than the trash can lid's diameter. I'm using strapping tape, but any good packing tape will work. Tape one edge of the mylar blanket to the lid, working in a crisscross pattern, gradually pull the blanket tighter. So at this point, your mirror should look like crap, but if you stay with it and pull the mylar tape around the entire circumference of the trash can lid, then... That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that nice drum sound. You now should have a beautiful flat mirror. To create a simple valve, take a piece of tape to cover the hole we drilled earlier, and that's it. You're done. In under one hour, I made two of these. Time to test these out in the sun. It's a good idea to always wear eye protection when working with concentrated sunlight. To convert your flat mirror to a concave death ray, simply suck the air out and cover the hole with the tape valve. Make sure the silicone has set for a few days or you'll be sucking in some nasty fumes. The stronger the vacuum, the shorter the focal length. These handheld mirrors were great, but for optimal performance, I place them on an easel. And just like that, instant fire. While these mirrors are not as powerful as the true solar mirrors on our website, they do require the same level of respect. Never store them unattended in direct sunlight or near our window and never let kids play with them. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thanks for watching and enjoy our videos.